Hi, I'm making a makeup tutorial today. <laughs> Don't you just love how bad I am at intros? Subscribe for more really bad intros. You're welcome. Right, so hear me out. Today's idea was for me to do like the galaxy type of makeup look tutorial thing that I did over on my Instagram once. I'll include a picture here. I also did like a one minute video on it, which obviously doesn't really explain what the hell I'm doing. It, it only kind of, you know, gives an idea of what I'm doing, but no one knows what the hell I'm doing. Do I even know what I'm doing? The world may never know. Anywho, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a tutorial on that, like a proper, real, full ace tutorial. Not half ace, full ace. Anywho, I am gonna get started, because I don't want to bore you guys with my weird long ass intros of me just rambling and, you know, it's boring as shit and none of you want to watch it. I can tell, I can, I can see which point you drop out and, and usually you skip through my intro, so. I got you. Um, anywho, I'm starting with the NYX Honey Do Me Up Primer. I'm still kind of conflicted as to how to feel about this. It feels really nice on the skin and it looks really nice, but it's kind of very syrupy. So it is kind of hard to get on the face and not all over my clothes, you know? I'm just gonna spread that out all over my face. Primed and ready to go. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh. That. You must think I'm really high. I'm pretty much one of the most square people that you'll ever meet. I'm one of those, surprise. I don't drink, I don't smoke weed, I don't do any drugs, and I am gonna try to quit smoking in October. Wish me luck because I'm gonna fucking need it. Right, we're gonna start off by doing some concealer. Anyone triggered by hearing me pronounce it like that? I hope so. So like I'm gonna start by applying my concealer, which is the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer. Concealer, I mean. <laughs> I'm already fucking up real bad. Let it do its thing underneath my eyes. Get that snitched or whatever. Some on the bridge of my nose. Just like that. I don't really wear foundations, like I, I am not gonna pretend I do. Next up I'm gonna be taking this liquid lipstick. This metallic liquid lipstick by Black Moon Cosmetics. Who, by the way, are my all-time favorite goddamn brand of all time. I love Black Moon Cosmetics a lot. And, and I advise anyone considering buying them, do it. It's the best choice you'll ever make. Okay. God, I sound like Jacqueline Hill trying to sell something. Don't even have an affiliates code. God, I wish. I need to stop. Um, I'm gonna put that right here. Now, you might be thinking, well, that's fucking weird. You're right, I'm gonna be taking my the Sigma HD something something sponge and blending that out over my forehead. Why am I wearing sunglasses, you might be asking? Is it sunny out? No, no it's not. I'm extra. You're welcome. I feel like I should have probably washed this sponge before trying to use it because uh, it's a bit of a black grayish cast, but that's, it, it, it's fine, don't worry about it, we'll fix that with some powdery shit. Then I'm gonna be taking a Sleepwalker by Black Moon's Cosmetics, which is this pure black goodness. I'm gonna be putting that around the perimeters. I'm gonna be blending that out as well. Now it might be a bit controversial to be using liquid lipsticks all over your face, but like, hey, live a little, go a little crazy, go a little bananas. Again, this is just like a, a fancy base that you don't really need to do, but I, I just want to do it because it helps with the blending and everything. The blending, honey. Catch me saying honey one more time and I, I'm gonna... I don't know what I'm gonna do. Y'all can figure it out in the comments below. Yeah? Okay. Thanks. I'm gonna be taking the Juvia's Place Masquerade Palette and I'm gonna be taking... What is this brush? I'm gonna be taking the Sigma Blending E25 brush. And I'm gonna be dipping it into... Oh, look at me sounding like a real beauty guru. Dipping it in. Oh, I'm gonna be dipping that into Chi. Then I'm gonna be putting that right here. I'm blending it out. You can do it in matte, but I don't wanna. Right above the eyebrow, I'm gonna be just circling it around here. Just have a grand old time up there. Then I'm gonna be taking that same brush and dipping it into Makita. I'm putting that right on the border of that blue. Then I'm gonna be taking the Sigma medium angled shading brush to E70. I'm gonna be taking the, y'all, where's my palette at? Where'd it go? Where did it come from? Where did it go? Where did it come from? Cut it out. I'm gonna be taking the Orbit Light palette by Black Moon Cosmetics, which is one of my favorite palettes, which has 
literally the best like a look at that is good and I'm gonna be putting that right underneath the cheekbone blend it into the hairline real good as well so that it doesn't look like we have bald patches all over the scalp you know because ain't nobody want the bald patch just like that so then from that same Juvia's Place palette I'm gonna be taking Zola and mixing that with a little bit of Dahlia and putting that again where we left off by the way this is probably my favorite colorful palette just so you all know and i highly recommend getting it if you have the funds to do so because as you can see like that that pigment can, can we just this is real cute you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying i'm just gonna blend that as far as i have to and blend that wow i'm going into puberty huh lucky me i'm gonna put that on my eyelid as well just for, like right above there not go too far up and surround my cheekbone with that as well. Also, yes, I am very aware that these glittery shades are never gonna come off my face. And I am completely okay with that. Then I'm gonna be taking the Taper Blending Brush to E40 by Sigma. I'm gonna be blending all of that in properly together. I think I'm an affiliate with Sigma. I don't, I honestly truly don't know. I'm a mess. I, uh, they offered me, a, what's it called, uh, an affiliate code for the would have probably said yes had I uh, not realized like a month after that they emailed me back. In case y'all hadn't uh, noticed, I'm, I'm kind of a little bit of a mess sometimes. I got caffeine free coffee, I am a- uh, I, I got coffee, hi guys, I, I took like a 10 minute break. That y'all wouldn't have noticed at all had I not mentioned it just then. It's fine. Right, so next I'm gonna be taking- what am I gonna be taking? I'm gonna be taking the taper blending brush, the E40 by Sigma, I'm gonna be taking the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place, and I'm gonna be dipping that into this color. And does that have a name? Who knows? And I'm gonna be just putting that right around here to lighten the edge of that turquoisey blue a little bit. And put that right under the cheekbone as well. Blend that into what's supposed to probably be my jaw contour or whatever. It's, it's gonna be a thing. Just, just bear with me. Right, so then I'm gonna be taking the NYX ultimate shadow palette the, the the brights version obviously this ain't neutrals i'm gonna be taking this color right here this pastel purple swirl the brush in there a little bit because you know want to get some product on the brush and i'm gonna be putting that right here to you know make a little transition from that light bluish turquoise shade into pink that i'm gonna be doing in a little bit now this is obviously a bit more of a matte color and i like just kind of like mix between mattes and shimmers and glitters and all that type of stuff i'm going to be putting that right here on my cheekbone as well on the top i'm gonna be putting that right here and on the other side as well kind of do a little bit of nose contour with that color as well just like that snatch it not that like my nose looks any smaller but it, uh, I don't mean it to, it just kind of uh, gives a little bit of extra effect and dimension. Then I'm going to be taking my other clean medium angled shading brush by Sigma, the E70. And I'm going to be dipping that into this color right here. I don't know if they have names, but I'm not going to look it up. You can, you can figure it out. You're not dumb. And I'm going to be putting that starting right here. Go a little bit above the brow. A little, little bit of a smoky effect going. Take that sideways over the bridge of the nose. Don't make it as opaque as possible, just kind of like have a little dusting of it. Because I don't really want like a really, really, really opaque type of thing. I just want it to, I would say, not make it look natural, but like, you know, that don't really work with this type of makeup. Whatever, you get what I mean. I'm gonna be going over my nose, just like that. I'm going onto the other cheek. Take that pink color and go in the inner crease right here. Then I'm gonna be taking this color right here and i am gonna extend that sort of like cloudy type of situation that we got going on to the other side with that color and i'm gonna blend that with that lighter purplish color right here as well that lavender it's not lavender it's kind of more of a warm pastel purple-ish color it doesn't have to be a perfect blend it, it's kind of like meant to be slightly more cloudy have like a little bit of texture to it if that makes any sense so don't don't be worried if it's not like a perfect whoosh type of blend a whoosh type of blend that's a bad explanation anyone that doesn't have sight is watching this they're probably gonna think i'm insane that's wonderful if you are not sighted and you are watching this i am so sorry for you because uh I, I know i am trash at explaining anything i do my best i promise just like that so it kind of looks like we have a bit of a 
purple pinky slash over the top of there. I'm gonna put some of that purpley pink right here as well. Just a little bit, a smidgen. Right, so now we're getting on to the neck, which is probably the least important part of this look, considering that, you know, the face is the focal point. However, I got some cool thingy thing majiggers hidden in there for all y'all to see and enjoy, you know. Right, so for the neck and all that type of stuff, I kind of need to take off all my jewelry and my clothes, which is controversial, demonetized. You're not gonna see me from anywhere but the shoulders up, so, um, you're welcome. Right, so I did that. Okay. Is because I'm gonna be taking- what am I gonna be taking? I didn't plan ahead, did I? Shit! I'm gonna be taking the- 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 the Masquerade palette by Juvia's Place. I'm gonna be taking this color right here. No, I'm not. I'm gonna be taking the Zulo palette. No, I'm not. So then I'm gonna be taking the NYX Ultimate Shadow palette again. I'm gonna be taking this purpley shade color thing. Mix it with a little bit of a D. The one next to it. On a big fluffy- brush. This is a th synthetic one. You can do whatever the hell you want. But I'm gonna use a synthetic one. Let me live my life. I'm gonna be putting that right here on top of my collarbone and up the neck. Kind of have like a dusting technique to that. By the way, I know this uh, background kind of sucks. I'm so sorry about it. I'm really not. So I'm um, like, then I'm gonna be taking this color in the Masquerade palette by Juvia's Place. I'm gonna be taking that same brush and I'm gonna put that on the border of that inky purpley shade that I just made on my collarbone. Wow, I'm so good at talking. I'm just gonna be dusting that on a big chunk of my neck like right here as well And that's gonna be blending into black above that and next to that on this side on the right side of my shoulder Then I'm gonna be taking the orb of life palette again and I'm gonna be taking black once again, but with this big fluffy brush I'm gonna be putting that all up underneath my jawline behind my ear as well right there and down my neck Cover up the side with some black 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 then I'm gonna be taking this dark purple shade again. Again. I'm gonna be dusting that over my ear. I know, shocking. Disgusting. Uh, just like that, so we have a nice, shimmery, sparkly little moment of my ear going on. Mm, I forgot to say something. Um, 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 um. Guess what the fuck, y'all? Look at these. Look at that. Thank you so much. Um, it's very cheesy and corny, but like, th this makes me a lot happier. The fact that so many people like actually appreciate me makes me really happy and makes me feel really corny and really good inside and it, it, uh... Then I'm gonna be taking that Masquerade palette. I'm gonna be taking this shade again, the Zola, and I'm gonna be putting that right in here. Just a big smudge of that. Oh, I stopped biting my nails, by the way. Look at that. Look at that, yo. I'm a slightly less nervous person. What a surprise. I'm gonna be taking the next contour, the Highlight and Contour Cream Pro palette, and I'm gonna be taking a really small brush. I'm gonna be using the eyeliner brush by Sigma, the E05, and I'm gonna be taking this color, one of the highlight colors. I'm gonna be making, just kind of making dots with that. And then, here's the kicker. I'm gonna be taking my finger. You see how, how that kind of makes more star? Don't know if you can see that. Like I'm just gonna dot that all over and it's not gonna be any regular pattern to it or anything like that. So then I'm just gonna be taking my Black Moon Cosmetics brush. I don't know what it's called because I, I don't, I'm not quite sure if they actually sell this or if this was just a thing for like the PR box. It's a really nice brush and I, I, I think they should sell it. So I really like this brush a lot. And I'm gonna be taking Days by Ulamasca, which is this big white highlighter. Looks white, but it has a pink purpley overcast, which uh, is perfect for this type of look. I'm gonna be putting that right on here. I don't know if that properly shows up on camera, but I think it does. Right in the center of the nose bridge. There you go, that shows up on camera just fine. Put that underneath my brow bone on this side as well. And then for my neck, I'm gonna be taking Squid from Black Moon's Cosmetic, and I'm gonna be putting that all over my collarbones and my neck. Oh, this smells so good. Do you ever have makeup that smells really good and you kind of just want to eat it? <laughs> Y'all just ignore me. Oh, okay. 
and we're good there, just like that. So real, real, real reflective. Right, so then we're gonna be starting on the eyes, which are a lot more basic than the rest of this makeup, quite obviously. We're gonna be starting by putting on a base of concealer, just, just like that. Then I'm gonna be taking the Juvia's Place Masquerade palette again, and I'm gonna be taking Fulani, and I'm gonna be putting that in the outer corner. And all up in the crease. Then I'm going to be taking the Saharan palette by Juvia's Place. And from that I'm going to be using the black color. Because obviously going to have some black. I'm going to be working that into the far outer corner and the crease a little bit as well. For that I'm using a soft fluffy synthetic blending brush. Which is the tapered blending brush. The E40 by Sigma. Again you don't have to follow my uh, brush steps. But I, I thought maybe I'll include them. Sigma brushes are my all time favorite brushes to use in case you couldn't tell yet. Then I'm gonna be taking Casablanca from the Masquerade palette, taking that with my finger and putting that all over the center of the lid to get that nice coppery sheen in the middle of my eyelid. Like this. Then I'm gonna be taking Giza from that same palette and putting that in my inner corner. If anyone ever tries to tell you you're not enough, ju just turn yourself into a, the whole galaxy, you know, the whole milk milky, milky way. And then I'm going to be taking that same dark blackish color on that medium angled shading brush to E70 by the Sigma. I'm going to be putting that right under the eye, just in the outer corner of the under eye, just to, you know, really get that smoky effect going. Because that's cute and I love that. I'm gonna be taking the IT Cosmetics Super Hero Liner in super black. I'm gonna be doing a tiny little upwards wing with that. Just like that for my waterline instead because I wanna blow waterline. Is I'm gonna be taking some powder from the NYX Cosmetics Ultimate Shadow Palette. I'm gonna be using a mix of this shade right here and this one right here. Pull down my eyelids and kind of just pack that on there. Next, I have not tried this yet, but this is the NARS... What is it called? This is the NARS Climax Mascara. Um, I got it in PR a few weeks back and I, I still have not tried it. And then I saw Jackie Aina use it and I thought, oh, well that looks good. So I'm gonna give it a go. And yes, I do the dumb mascara face, don't judge me. Oh, this is really nice. Why did I not open this until now? The world may never know. Oh, that's a really good mascara. God damn. Damn, Nars. You did it good. You did it real good. And there we go. That's pretty much the look. You're welcome. What do you think? Um, let me know some ideas for some more Halloween spooky things. Down below in the comments below because I, oh, this is number one of my, uh, 2018 Halloween looks that I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be doing a lot more Halloween looks. This is just number one. Don't worry. This is, I'm, I'm not gonna stop right here. This is just the beginning. Y'all just wait. This would look real cute with like a midnight blue slash purpley wig. Right, definitely not the best wig job I've ever done, but like the idea is there. The color is there. Um, anyway, um, anyway, this was it. God. The video is done. You can uh, leave now. Also, I'm, I'm I'm most active on Twitter, so please, if you if you wanna, please follow me there. So like, anywho, um, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video of me turning into a galaxy. Uh, it is done. I'm finished. You you can click to the next video right now. Maybe watch one of my older videos. You uh, you came here anyway, so maybe subscribe. Like I, I know you. I see you, that 66% of you watching my videos that ain't subscribed yet. So like, subscribe, maybe, um, join, join the family. Join the family, I can be your dad. Bye.